Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Spider, and welcome back to another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers 2007 Movie Deluxe Jazz. Yeah. Now, before we take a look at the figure itself, this is usually where I would take the time to look at the packaging, but well, I kind of lost it, so instead, spare bottle. Okay. On to the figure himself. So... Here we have Jazz in his car mode, and, um, I'm actually not entirely sure what car this is supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> I never have and never will claim to be a car guy, like, I don't, I, I don't know stuff, like, certain people can just take a look at this and be like, oh, it's this year, it came out that time, and it did it as, like, I got nothing, all I know is that it looks cool. <laughs> That's as far as I go. It looks neat, and that, that's it. Anyways. So. Let's look, take a look at that. Blah, blah. Can't talk. Let's take a closer look at him. So we have the front. It's got a nice, hey, fo you, you focus, and you stay focused. You have a, a grill. A red thing. Headlights, which are a... Is that metallic? Is that what, it, what would be the proper term? I don't know. It's sparkly, whatever it is. It's a nice light blue. Same thing here. Some yellow on top of it. Very nice. Got some wheels. Nice silver trim. All four of the wheels have this. Very nice. Little black piece there. You have these things here, which I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Again, not a car guy. I, I don't know this stuff. I uh, think maybe vents or something? I don't know. I don't know nothing. So I'm just going to not even try. Got another piece of black there. Got a door with a door handle. You got a, a side view mirror. Got these very, very nice uh, dark blue, uh, dark tinted blue windshield and windows. I really like that. I've heard some people don't, but nah, I love it. I think that's the best way to go. You know, because sometimes just having the painted windows is a little eh. And um, just having like clear windows to me doesn't really look, look that good either. So yeah, to me, dark tinted blue is the best way to go. And you can actually see they have a little bit of... Um, a molded interior in there. Oh, wait, focus. See, there's a kind of a chair in there. On the tops of a chair, the top of a steering wheel. See if I'm on the side. My camera will focus. Focus, please. Thank you. Yeah. Looks nice. You got a. Uh, gas cover, I assume, which is kind of weird. It's on both sides. You fo focus, focus. Thank you. So yeah, it's on both sides of the car, which I don't think is accurate, but I'm not 100%. Um, back, you have tail lights, and you also have like a, these these gaping holes here, which I assume they were going to put something there. Because it looks like it's circular, like it would be another type of tail light thing, but it's just empty. There's nothing there, so I don't know. Maybe they changed the minds at the last second. I, I have no idea. Get the top, very nice. You got the spoiler. Uh, he's a little scraped up, but then again, he's kind of old, so you know what do you expect. Yeah, bottom is uh, not terrible actually. It's kind of it's kind of good, yeah. Like yeah, those are his legs, but it's like it's not completely obvious that those are his legs. So yeah, can't entirely tell what you're looking at. So I think that's a good job. So yeah, overall, um, I think they get a, I think they did a pretty good job with the car mode. It looks really good. My camera will stay focused for more than five seconds. Uh, it looks really good. I really like it. Yeah. Now, um, he does have 
an accessory and um, while I don't actually have his accessory anymore I kind of lost that well actually I did I did I didn't lose it it's just uh, I got this thing um, uh, so my, my brain blanked there for a second. Uh, I got this guy uh, pre-owned. So I was not the first owner of this figure. So yeah. For once, it's not my fault that I don't have the accessory. But I do have um, what came with another figure. It's the same mold. It's just a different plastic. Just this. So this is exactly what his gun would look like. Just imagine it being uh, gray instead of this dark bluish color. Right? Can we all deal with that? This is okay? Alright. So here we have the gun. It's kind of nice. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Some people have um, compared it with like a harpoon gun, which especially if you extend it. Uh, yeah, it definitely is harpoonish. So, not really sure what this is. Uh, and you can only extend like the tip of it, or if you want, you can extend the that part of it, or you can just leave it in, whatever you want to do. And um, unfortunately, uh, there there was a tab on it, but it broke off, and you were supposed to be able to hook it on the spoiler right there. You can see there's those two little things right there, it's supposed to clip in in between them, and you would have the gun on the spoiler. Which, I think that's kind of a cool thing. That's a, seems like a Transformer-y gimmick type thing to do. Unfortunately, though, it broke. So, I can't really do it anymore. I just kind of simulate it by just putting it right there. Be like, this is what it would have looked like. I remember having some fun with it, so. It was cool. Now, that's pretty much it for the car mode. So, on to size comparisons. So, here we have it with a Lego minifigure. Here we have it with the Pack of Destruction minifigure, Mothra, who always falls forward. The Pack of Destruction minifigure, Godzilla. And with the... Uh, Trying to remember what the thing is called is uh, I guess the movie Swindle, which is actually not from the movie; it's from the game, which I do have confirmation out. This this is from the game. Like even when you when you look at the box, it even says from the Transformers game. So yes, this is what it is from. And here he is with the RC. And now on to some figures that were some movie Transformer figures that were actually in the movie. Which is Bumblebee. And Barricade. And the previous review of Scorponok. So yeah, now let me get some, uh, see if I can get them all in the same shot. Let's get some of these. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, in the previous reviews, I've like tried to get all of these guys in here, but I think from now on, I'm just gonna do the ones that actually showed up in the movie. You stay together, you. Oh, goodness. Stay here. Them out. Let me straighten out Scorponok's arms so I can squeeze these guys in a little better. I guess I should put Bumblebee with his fella Autobot. Yeah, that looks a little better. So, yeah, that's the lineup so far. Pretty good, pretty good. The vehicle itself is about. Uh, um, about five inches long, and if you care, it is almost two inches tall. 
All right. Now, done with the size comparisons. On to the transformation. Let me raise the camera up here so I'll give myself a little bit of room here. So, just focus here. All right. Now, first off, you're gonna want to come back here. At least I start in the back. Kind of get your fingernail under there. Just kind of. Pop off the back part here, fold it up like that. And you see these two holes will connect with these two pegs right there. Just kind of fold that up and just grab this and simply fold it down. You need to fold those down, just kind of push it up a little bit. Uh, I don't really like to connect it just yet until I get the arms done because they kind of get in the way. But, um, so yeah, onto the legs. Kind of spread them a little bit. You pull that down, twist it, and you fold the foot down. Which also comes with this thing, which I'll get into this later. This is a pain in the biscuits. Yeah, fold it right. And all right, and then you fold up the heel spur, and you have a leg done. And the other side is not very different. Just do the same thing. Just fold, rotate, just kind of fold that out, and you're done with the legs. Yeah. Now if he'll stand up. No, well, I have to hold it. Okay. And I'm gonna. Raise the camera up just a smidgen more, so you can really see what I'm doing here. Fold that up, yes, I'll leave that down a little bit. Um, I don't know why I immediately forgot what to do next. Uh, so you just kind of fold these and kind of angle them, and that will unclip these two bits, which were, you know, just tap together. So just kind of untap them like that. And that tend to fold the arms, arm flaps up. Then you want to grab it as close to the base as you can and just rotate it and rotate. So basically you want to fold that piece up and then just fold that out. And um, I would say be careful because these struts look kind of thin, but actually they're kind of they're kind of tough. Like, I've messed around with this thing for years, and they haven't broken or cracked or anything. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, don't, like, try to, like, rip them or break them. But for the most part, they seem pretty sturdy. So, yeah. Yeah, because I'll just focus on one arm for now. I uh, want to, yes. want to rotate like that. Fold this piece up like so. Fold up the arm flap. And then here's the things get a little weird. The way the arms transform is quite, quite bizarre. I don't know why they decided to go with this design, but they did. So pull out the hand, which isn't too weird, but you want to pull that until it unclips, fold that, and then fold that, and then you want to push it, and you have an arm done. Yeah, kind of odd. Now, do the same thing on this side. Oh, geez, bump the camera, my bad. Fold that hand, pull down that thing, fold that arm, rotate, pull, fold, fold, and push. And then finally, we can just fold that down and, and click that the place. Torso done. So I'll fold that up and rotate the arms down. Get everything situated here. You want to push this down. Folds up the head and there's a little bit of um, automorph I think it's called in here in the chest. You fold it down and the chest kind of collapses. Or kind of these pieces kind of fold in. Gonna see it better from the side, I guess. 
problems getting in the way. Fold this down and keep this kind of fold in. Not the biggest change, but it's kind of cool. I like it. In any case, you're done. Got yourself a transformed jazz. Move the camera down just a little bit. So yeah, here's jazz. We'll take a closer look at him here. I guess I should leave it just raised up a little bit. So here we have him at the head. Looks kind of interesting. Yeah, these pieces, which they kind of look like mandibles to me. They look like mandibles. Ah, it's kind of weird. The face does look quite odd. It does. Um, yeah, these little thingies here. Wait a minute. Hang on. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> been a while. I forgot how I review toys. I usually take a look at the articulation first. Right? Yeah, that's what I do. Sorry. I, yeah, blah. Uh, let's take a look at that, shall we? So, still take a look at the head. Uh, is that a ball joint? So we can rotate. So I can look that far up. That far down. That's from side to side. It's very nice. Turn all the way around. Have these weird kind of joints here so you can fold this doesn't go any further than that you can fold it up like that and you can also fold it at that joint there so you can get the kind of that action going on hey come on come on come on okay you can also rotate the arms and you have a I guess an elbow there. You can kind of bend like that, but that's kind of are you getting? Yeah. Uh, hands I guess can go up and down, but not really. Uh, nothing at the waist. Hips can go. Not you. That can kick that far forward. And kick move the arm out of the way. Kick that far back. And move the other arm out. You can kinda do the spreads. The splits. The spreads. <laughs> the splits. You can kinda do the splits. These these pieces kinda get in the way. Which, you know. That's pretty good. It's fine. Uh nothing at the thigh. No thigh joint. Uh there is something at the knee though, the yeah, rotation under the knee, which is kind of weird. Um, it can kind of bend, sort of. You sort of had to like twist the leg because the things kind of bump into each other. So, yeah, not the greatest uh, knee joint in the world, but uh, I guess, you know, at least he has one. And at the ankle, it can go down and up. And this thing will go with it, and you have to replace it, and put it back where it's supposed to go, and isn't that lovely? And heel spur can move, I guess. So yeah, not the greatest articulation in the world, but what are you gonna do? Now on to details, we have the head, which looks like a head, actually has some very good light piping, I mean look at that, that was really good, you got a bunch of mechanical jumbles going on over there, interesting, you got the shoulders, the arms, stay. Hands kind of just three claws molded together. And 
Got gist. You guys waste. It's got some some bronze pieces in there. Kind of hard to see them. You kind of see you got a Autobot symbol there. Hang on. Give me a second. Let me see if I can find a light so I can help you guys see it a little better. Man, this thing is dying. I need to change the batteries. All right. Well, that doesn't help. It just makes everything look blue. Uh, anyways, yeah, I guess you just have to take my word for it. There's some bronze pieces in there. You can see much better here. You got some on the legs. There's the Autobot symbol. You got a little red thing there. That's more bronze on the shins. Pretty nice detail on the legs, actually. At least the lower part. Yeah, these things, which I guess are supposed to be like, like the wheels, but the actual wheel is just right there. So what's the point of having that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The back, which is not the best back, but it's not the worst, you know. Got some details on there. Hold down that arm. Stay. Everyone wants to stay. So, uh, yeah. Pretty much, it for, pretty much it for details. Um, looks pretty good. Not highly articulated though. Oops. But you know, it doesn't look too terrible. It looks decent. Articulation is really the biggest problem with this guy. And also these things. Really wish those weren't there. Really get on my nerves. Because like every time you move the ankle, you move these. And you have to like re... Rotate. And they're not... Very tight too. So you have to rotate them and then rotate that. And it's it's just a hassle. I don't, I don't like them. And if you rotate them too far back back they'll kind of like hit into the wheel and as you can see it's kind of like kind of like angled here you can't really see it's sort of angled instead of just you know straight on like the wheels are because this thing was pushing on it and like making it all crooked now so yeah i don't like them don't like them do not oh my goodness gracious very squeaky joints. You stand? You stand? Okay. Now, back to the gun. Um, you can actually... Well, it doesn't actually hold it, but it plugs into his arm. And I actually do really like the way they did this. So you want to... You want to fold it. Essentially, you just kind of want to untransform the arm. Like that. And then you take the gun and this part right here will plug into that hole. And he's got a gun arm. And I really like that. I really think that looks nice. I like it when they have like the arm like actually transform into the gun. It looks really cool. And again, you can have it whatever you want. Uh, all the way out. Just that part out. Or just that part out. However you want. It does kind of stick out because it's not the same color. But when it is the case, when it is the same color, it looks even better. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Another thing you can do, which isn't the greatest, and it kind of makes the joint really loose. But you can actually take this piece off. Um, it's not very easy to do. Oh goodness. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. Ugh, I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to have to do this off camera. Wait a bit. Hang on. Alright. I got it off. It actually does 
clean up the back a little bit too. Looks pretty good. But basically, you have that little peg which will go into that hole. Actually, any of the wheels really. So you can even have it go on that arm. But you can plug it into the wheel. Like so. And he's kind of got like a shield thing going on. So you kind of have him, um, kind of have him like these kind of poses. Which is, that's kind of cool. You know, I'm like blocking him with the shield and like trying to blast him back. So that's cool. Although it is not at all accurate to what it's supposed to look like in the movie. However, I recently have discovered some information of why that may be. Uh, apparently a lot of these figures were based off of the early, or just based off of concept art, of what the characters were actually going to look like. Which explains some things of why they don't exactly look like they do in the movie. So, yeah. Actually does explain some things, which, you know, makes sense, because these figures came out in, like, what? Oh, jeez. Bumping everything. Uh, these figures came out in 2006, I think? The movie came out a year after that, so... Yeah, it makes sense that they would change some of the designs and whatnot. So, yeah. Let's pull this arm back down. Or just plug it in general. Just gonna transform his arm back. But yeah, that's not at all accurate of how it's in the movie. Because if you remember, um, he does have like a shield, but it's more so built onto his gun. So, yeah, I guess they changed that. Hey. Unplug that. And, um,. It's not necessary to do this, and I also, if you don't really care for it, I don't recommend it, because it makes this uh, joint really, really loose, so, hey, hey, dang it, come on, get on, there we go, it makes this joint super loose, if you keep doing that, because I remember this would actually stay up once upon a time, but after doing this repeatedly, it made it very loose. So if you don't like that, uh, don't take it off and give him the shield. And one other thing, he does actually have weapon storage for robot mode. Um, see that hole? You can apparently plug that right in, right in there, and... And bend him over a little bit so he can stay in gravity and whatnot. Uh, you can plug it into his back. Kind of sticks out, but yeah, you can do it. Whoa, jeez. Oh, that fell. Goodness. Okay. And I've seen some people say that apparently, like, I've always wondered like, what this loop thing is for. And some people say you're supposed to be able to plug it into this or hook it on there or whatever, but. Um, uh, uh, yeah, no, that, no, that's not happening. That, uh, that doesn't work. So, I don't know what they're talking about, or how they ever got that to work. It does not go there at all. So, yeah, got a random loop for some reason. Now, on to... And up uh, under certain comparisons. So, here it is with a Lego minifigure. The Packet Destruction minifigure Mothra. Packet Destruction minifigure Godzilla. The Movie Deluxe RC. Movie Deluxe Swindle. The 
can move your lux barricade. Oops. Kind of get in a better standing pose. Oh, jeez. Falling over. The movie deluxe bumblebee. I don't think I'll be able to get him to stand, so I'm gonna just hold him. Just put against the wall. And he fell. And of course, how could one forget? But Scorponox robot mode. See if I can get all the robot mode, robot modes in. Boom will be here. Kind of helps if you keep his legs plugged together. Yeah, it worked. Gotta get okay. It's standing up here. Face camera a little bit. Kind of pull it out here. Uh, get them all in frame. So yeah, that's how the movie lineup is looking so far. These are the ones who, you know, actually appeared in the movie. Well, I guess Swindle or the RC, but, you know, just saying. Anywho, so that's pretty much it for the Transformers Movie Deluxe Jazz. He's... He's okay, you know. There are definitely better jazzes out there, but he stands like his legs aren't even. Okay, I think I've, I think I fixed it here. Um, it's okay. The articulation is very limiting, yeah, but he, he still looks cool. Yes, it's not entirely accurate to the movie, but I don't know. I like him. You know. I definitely get some enjoyment out of them. But that could just be because I grew up with these figures. And so, you know. It could just be the nostalgia goggles blinding me, but I don't know. I still think he looks kind of cool. I mean, it's jazz. It's kind of hard to make him not look cool, you know. But, uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, uh. Random thing, um, if you, if you do like this figure and you want to get another one of him, um, there actually was, I think it was a Target exclusive, although well, it doesn't necessarily matter anymore, but, um, it's this exact figure, but he's in the colors of the G1 Jazz. So, you know, the white, the blue, and the red stripes and stuff. So, if that interests you, apparently that's a thing. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to get that, but if... That sounds interesting to, interesting to you. It's out there, man. You can get it. Yeah. Oh, right. Almost forgot. Measuring time. Uh, around six inches. All right. <laughs> this review is going a little long, so I'm going to just uh, say it's okay. It does have some flaws, but I still like him. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Sayonara. Bye.